Hello, hello guys, how are we doing? And welcome back to the channel. Today I bring you finally the spawn guide for hardpoint on Vista. It's one of the new maps that was put in as a teaser into MW3 rank play to see how it plays as a competitive map in hopes that it's gonna be part of the map pool going forward. Personally, I've played it a handful of times. I really like it. It's super mixy, it gives me proper Rio vibes. Uh, so I'm hoping it sticks. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts if you've played on it already. Let me know what you think and uh yeah, have a little bit of a discussion down in the comments if you disagree or agree with people, I guess. Um, so if you somehow have avoided the spawn guys before, I'm just going to give you a little bit of info on how I do these and what the, the little demonstrations and the, all the symbols mean that you're seeing here. Um, because I haven't had as much game time with Vista and Departures as I have had on all the other maps I've done spawn guides for, the only way I've been able to guarantee that these are correct is watch VOD over VOD over VOD over VOD of other people playing from a Codcaster perspective. Um, to really analyze what these spawns are like. So this is going to cover 95, 97% of all outcomes you're going to see on Hardpoint Vista. So if something happens that's outside of this, it's very unlikely this is going to cover most possible outcomes. Um, so you can block spawns. Um, we're going to be going through how you can control spawns, how you manipulate spawns and the best way to attack each hill or defend each hill. Um, the circles, the rings, uh, the spawn locations themselves, they're not exact. Some of them are like dotted around that, uh, but they give you a general gist of where people will be spawning. The two main spawns on each uh, hill are going to be pink and blue. Pink being the preferable one, blue being the worst one uh, out of the two. And then any other color other than pink and dark blue are going to be alternative spawns. The places in which you can block them from are highlighted in these blots of color, I guess you could call them. Uh, so for example, to block these dark blue spawn here, you can be anywhere in this blue zone. You can also block the spawn of a spawn point by being in uh, in it yourself. So if you're in the blue ring, you, you, the enemy aren't going to spawn there with you or being in sight of that spawn as well. So say, let's say you were where my red cursor is looking at the spawn, that will block the enemy. So I've put spawn locations that might not be so obvious, but obviously if you're in it or you're seeing it, it's going to block it for itself. So that's the boring introduction out of the way. Let's get on with how the spawns work. Uh, P1 is a little bit of a mixy hill. As I say, the main spawns are pink and blue. Um, pink I've put as a slightly better hill because the routes to the hill itself are better. Uh, and most of the beneficial spawns on the map are this left-hand side. So it's nice to get this control of the left-hand side of the map fairly early on. Now, both pink and blue spawns can be blocked from the enemy being on P1. Um, and the yellow is the secondary spawn to the pink. The teal is secondary spawn to the dark blue. And then red spawn, which is sort of in pink, uh, occurs when all other spawns are blocked, which is a really bizarre situation, but we're going to get into that now whilst, whilst we're talking about it. So this is a screenshot, and as you can see, it sort of overlays exactly the map that we're going to see here, but this is a screenshot of a, uh, a real-life example of how someone can spawn red. So number player number one is what we're focusing on here, this player just here. Now, they have spawned here for a multiple of reasons. It's a, it's a really bizarre spawn, but the reason they're spawned here is because players six and five are on P1, and as a result, they're blocking the blue spawn, which was back here. Um, but then we also have player eight blocking the teal spawn. So if you go back to our, our little spawn guide here, um, you can see that yeah, the blue spawns are blocked because the player's in P1, but then player eight is in this teal uh, zone blocking the teal spawn itself. Um, so then naturally, if you were to assume they were the only places where the enemy had occupied, player one would have spawned uh, yellow down here. But we have player seven on the map, and as a result, and he's sort of playing the mid map area, and as a result, he's blocking the yellow zone around here, which means that all other spawns are blocked. And as a result, the game has just chucked number player, player number one, into the red zone here. So, as I say, that's going to give you, if you spawn here and you're not sure why and you're not sure how, it's because the enemy's pretty much covered every other spawn in the map. So, going back to the spawn, guys, we're going to go through a couple of scenarios. Um, just to make it a little bit more simple, these are things you probably want to try and remember. Now, if you spawn pink or blue, it means the hill is contested, no one's on the hill, or your team is on the hill. Generally, that's what it means. So that's a fairly easy one to remember. Now, if you spawn uh, down in yellow, it means that the enemy are on P1 and or uh, push through P1 blocking spawns, and therefore they're in the they're in the they're blocking this pink zone. Now, if you spawn teal, uh, it means that the enemy again are either on P1 or push through P1 blocking the blue spawn here and as a result you're not going to spawn here you're going to spawn teal now if you spawn pink 
and the enemy are on p1 that means you've actually spawned in the in the red spawn we've put here which is sort of what i briefly explained but what that means is that uh, the enemies are converging towards p2 which is the hill at the bottom here pushing out teal spawns are on p1 and just coming off yellow spawns so they're going to be in this yellow zone over here somewhere the bottom left hand side of the map blocking these yellow spawns so if you spawn in those locations that should be the information you're getting from it so let's move on into p2 <clears throat> So again, very similarly, you're going to have two main spawns, pink and blue. Uh, as I'm, I'm saying pink's better here because it's closer to P2 and keeps better spawns for P3 as well. Um, the alternative to both t uh, dark blue and pink spawns are teal. Um, this is a spawn which I've rarely seen because chance it's a, it's a massive bang out across these two spawns. People just run to the point and hit heads. Uh, and as a result, there weren't many alternative spawns captured. This was the only one I saw. Um, so if you spawn, let's take again a couple of scenarios here that you can hopefully remember and take uh, take note of. If you spawn pink or blue with your team, there's nothing to know. It just means your spawns are with where your team are um, at that point in time. Now, if you spawn blue and you were spawning pink, it means the enemies push through P2 and they're blocking the pink spawns and they've left this blue spawn as a result, leaving it open. Now, the third scenario we've sort of got is if you spawn teal, it means that the enemies both push through P2, blocking pink spawns, and there's a player on the enemy team just coming off blue spawns. So be very careful. If you spawn teal, when you're running out to P2, take a look right and watch this mid cut here because chances are there's an enemy just running off spawn here and you're going to be able to catch them off guard. Now, the best thing to do is to try and fight for pink spawns on this hill at any point during P2. This is the better side to have. This left hand side of the map is the best side to have P2, P3, and the start of P4. So it's really never too late to push this side of the map to get to P2. So the earlier you do it, obviously the better for this hill, but you're gonna to wanna to do it for the next couple of hills anyway. Um, so you may as well do it and get it over and done with when you can. Moving on to P3, which is in this little bit area here with the bar. Um, again, you've got two main spawns, pink and blue, and they're fairly similar distance from the hill. So they've done quite well balancing this. Um, pink, as I say, is the better spawn to have for a couple of reasons first things first it's a little bit more linear to get to the hill so the routes are a little bit more simple um which i guess the downside to that is it's easier to be trapped in that spawn but there's a way that you can flip out so i don't think that's going to be happening too frequently um but the, also the main reason why i think pink's the better spawn is you'll see here it's right where p4 is and it means you don't really have to rotate you really you can just if you've got pink spawns you can just bang out p3 over and over again knowing you're just going to spawn at the new hill anyway so it saves you having to rotate with these pink spawns which is why i think it's the best spawn to have um now teal spawn is the secondary spawn to both pink and blue which is very similar to what we just spoke about on uh, p2 um but it's very hard to block teal so these three main spawns are what you're going to be seeing teal is this real tight cubby uh, down this little street place here and it's you can't really block it other than being in it yourself or um, being in, in view of it which is quite a difficult thing to be doing and as a result these are the three main spawns you're going to see 95% of the time when you're playing Vista so again let's take a few scenarios here if your team is spawning pink or blue and you're spawning with them there's nothing crazy to note that's just because well you're spawning there because your team are there um, now, if your team was spawning pink and you spawn blue, it means the enemy has flipped and are blocking pink spawns. And the same thing goes for blue. If you were spawning blue and you decide you're actually now spawning pink, it means the enemy's got a little bit too aggressive into your spawn and they've flipped you. And that's the best way to have it. Um, but obviously, if you were pink and you spawn blue, you got to ring alarm bells to your teammates saying, turn around from P3. There's someone already at P4 rotating early. Um, get your ass into gear and rotate as well. Now, if you spawn teal, that means that someone is blocking both pink and and blue spawns um so and someone is close to coming off spawn of blue so basically if you spawn teal very similar to the uh, parallel spawn we had on the other hill be very cautious that someone chances are someone's also just spawned dark blue so be very careful running off spawn here you're probably going to be behind someone similarly if you've just spawned dark blue and you have a lot of teammates over pink and someone on the enemy team has just died be careful that this spawn is going to be open because you're here the enemy, your teammates are here so the only other place for the enemy to spawn is teal so just watch your back if that situation occurs now the best way to play this hill from my opinion obviously i've only played this a handful of times so it's gonna it's i'm gonna get better tactics as that as i as i play more but the best thing to do is really fight for the pink spawns at any point in this hill obviously this is what you want to do when you're rotating to p4 um so even if you don't even if you rotate later on into p3 at least you're still rotating for p4 there so you really want to fight for these pink spawns throughout the hill 
Um, and win your gunfights. And then from here, you can then chow P3 if there's enough time to do so. Obviously, if there's only 20, 10 seconds left of P3, you might want to sit at P4 and just set up for P4. Um, so yeah, that is P3. Let's move on to P4. Um, P4 is fairly similar. The spawns actually on Vista are relatively simple, but it's there's a lot of timings that can make people spawn very much parallel to you, which means you get shot in the back and all sorts. So um, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. So again, main spawns, blue uh, and pink um i've put pink as the beneficial spawn so now for me it doesn't really matter which one they spawn in the only reason i put pink as the better spawns here are well there's two really it's a it's a better spawn to rotate to p5 from because it's you keep the height whereas in blue you have to drop down and then run up the bridge so you you have to almost lose height when you're when you're coming from blue to p5 uh, but the second reason is i think it's a nicer route to p4 there's a little there's a couple of buildings to get to it you've got a little bit more cover and if you manage to get to p4 from pink you've got them in a spawn trap they've got a cross across this open space here to get to p4 and it, it just makes it for a nice little spawn trap um so the Alternative to pink spawns are yellow, and similarly again, the alternative to the dark blue spawns are teal. So if someone's blocking pink, you'll spawn yellow. If someone's blocking dark blue, you'll spawn teal. Now, again, let's take some scenarios here. If you spawn um, pink or blue and your team are with you, again, there's nothing to worry about. You spawn there because your team are there, and that's just the way you're deciding to spawn at that point in time. So if you spawn there with your team, don't worry, don't overthink it. It's just what happens. Now, if you spawn yellow and you were spawning pink, that means the enemy has pushed through P4 and is advancing on your pink spawn. So be very careful that you're probably going to have a relatively quick gunfight off of your yellow spawn. So pre-aim something, hold an iron, and just wait for an enemy to chow you. Because chances are they're going to be really eager to push through into your spawn and maybe rotate to P5 from there. Now, if you spawn teal and you were spawning... Uh, well, essentially, if you spawn teal, it essentially means that enemy is blocking blue spawns as well as pinks. Otherwise, you'd have just flipped to the pink spawns. So... Be very careful if you spawn teal it means often an enemy is coming off dark blue so a lot of the time the routes people take uh, from dark blue are down this alley towards pillars you're going to run front here and that's where a lot of parallel spawns can happen so if you spawn teal take your time run forward pre-aim these pillars because chances are you're going to have someone running down there not knowing you spawn there unless they've watched these guides of course um so yeah that's pretty much p4 spawn logic um tips wise from either side it's better to fight for the hill itself um, the spawns are fairly 50-50 as I've already said but if you find yourself stuck in a blue spawn maybe try and take a route through middle so if someone's a pink team of spawn trapping you in blue spawns maybe try and take a route through middle to maybe go round like if you look at my arrow here take a route through middle if you can obviously win gunfights where you can get all the way through and then flip that's the best and easiest way to flip obviously you can take a route the bat's fall enough to take a route if it takes you 10 seconds to flip spawns it's 10 seconds it's not the worst thing in the world um, but yeah, and once you're there, block the pin spawns and flip, and then you can rotate to P5 when P5 is about to come up. So talking P5, you're going to see some very similar sort of patterns here. Uh, they're very, the spawns are very linear, and there aren't actually too many parallel spawns for P5. So it's a nice, easy one, I hope to understand. Um, again, main spawns, pink and blue. Um, pink, as I say, is slightly more beneficial because of how close, it's a little bit close to the hill, and you don't have to drop down to a lower region of the map uh, and therefore be at a disadvantage in any gunfights you have um, you can keep the height whereas on blue there's only one way really you can attack p5 from height and that's just to push through p1 so it's an expected push uh, that or you drop down to low but then again you're at a disadvantage because anyone on the hill can just look down at you and they're on a head glitch automatically because they've got the height now if the pink spawns are blocked uh, it opens up the yellow spawns for the pink people or the pink people the people who were spawning pink to spawn uh, and if the blue spawns are blocked, you guessed it, they're going to spawn teal. So if you spawn either pink or blue, and again, your teammates are with you, it's just a regular spawn. There's nothing to note. Now, if you spawned yellow and you were spawning pink, that means an enemy's on P5, or they're pushed through a little bit, and they're getting a little bit eager through this side of P1, and they're in this sort of zone. Um, now, if you spawn teal from blue... It means an enemy, again, very similar to this side, it's almost just flipped. The enemy's either on P5 or they're pushed through to your side of P5 or your side of P1 and they're being a little bit more aggressive. So the game thinks, okay, I can't spawn them here because it's too close. I'll spawn them back here, give them some time to run off to, you know, give them some time to think about they've just spawned in before running into a gunfight. Um, now, if you were spawning pink or blue and the... Uh, at the So, yeah, let's take this a little bit slower here. So 
if you were spawn in pink or blue and you spawn at the other alternative spawn so let's say for example you were spawning pink but somehow you've decided you've spawned teal or on the flip side you are spawning blue and you just you've suddenly spawned yellow that means an enemy has pushed through and blocked both yellow uh, and pink spawns but there are also enemies close to uh, the main spawn near you so say for example let's say uh, you are spawning pink and you spawn teal that means an enemy has pushed through p5 and they're blocking they've pushed up far enough so they're quite far up uh they're blocking both pink and yellow spawns but you've not been able to spawn dark blue because there's enemies also this side of p5 so you're in no man's land here you've got people over here you've got people here so if you do spawn teal and you were spawning pink that's why so just be very careful that you're probably going to be able to shoot maybe people in blue off uh in the back um but yeah that's 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 a scenario in which that can happen so as far as tips are concerned, the best thing to try and do is get the initial kills around the hill. Play for two or three down. When you get a two-man up advantage, so say there's, there's three of your team alive and you've only you've killed three of the enemy team, um, pushes the team to gain hill control uh, uh, and general mid control, really. It's surprising how dominant having this mid control is going to be for this map because realistically they can't get to P5 unless they go through mid. Um so what I'd advise having is someone blocking the spawn, either being sat all the way back here, uh, just blocking the spawn, playing a really long line of sight to the hill, whilst someone's sat on the hill and the and the rest of your team are sort of pushed up, playing the cuts off the spawns. Uh, and that can work either side, but I'm obviously showing this just from a pink perspective, from a blue team perspective here. Um, and that's the best way to hold it. Obviously, you, it's not that simple in game. You need to win the gunfights. So you need to progress up the map without making a mistake. Um, but that's just an ideal situation. Um, so yeah, that's going to do it for the spawn guys. If there's any questions or if you're not sure about anything that I've mentioned in here, feel free to drop a comment down below, join the Discord and say hello in there as well if you want. There will be a document on there that you can download. It'll have all the screenshots. It'll have sort of a brief commentary of what I've spoken about as well. So it's not like you're going to have to watch the video every time. Um, and you can share that with your friends and let them know that these are the spawns they need to learn. Um, departures will be out soon. And uh, yeah, click that notification bell if you want to be notified when I drop departure spawn guide. Um, that'll do for me. Hope you enjoyed. Ciao for now.